is a 1963 Studebaker. Uh, just a cool little car to restore. As you can see, it's running right now. A little six-cylinder in it. Motor runs really, really good. Uh, it's three-speed on the tree. Run, start, stops. I drive it around all the time. It does need an accelerator pump. Kind of falls on its face a little bit here and there. Uh, but just a really fun, cool little car to restore. Very unique, very unusual. Uh, not sure really a whole lot about it, except it was a cool car and I just had to have it. It does have a, a V8 emblem on the trunk, and I'm just not sure if it's the original trunk, if it was an original V8 car. There is original V8 emblems, Studebaker V8 emblems that go with it that were in a bag, so I'm not sure if the car was a, a true V8 car or not. I don't know how to tell, but maybe if somebody out there knowledgeable knows, you can let me know and maybe I can help you out with that. There's a VIN tag in here. Looks like it used to be a Seafoam Green. There's the VIN number if that helps anybody determine whether it's a real V8 car or not. Uh, like I said, motor runs real good, shifts, drives, goes. It's actually pretty peppy with the six cylinder that's in it. Gets up and goes real good with the motor that's in it take a peek inside. The inside needs some work, but really actually pretty restorable, really clean. The windows have all been tinted. Here's the inside. And then the dash needs a, some reupholstering, but it's reading about 95,000, I think, on it. 95,000 miles. Gas gauge works, amp, oil pressure, cold and warm pressure works. Uh, front seats in really, really nice condition. Doesn't seem to be any, you know, major rust or anything in the car at all. A little picture of the back seats area. Back seats are real nice shape, really, for its age. A picture of the headliner. It's, you know, a lot to work with on the car. I think it'd be a real simple restoration because there's not really a whole lot of square feet to worry about. Picture on the top there. Anyway, just an all around fun, unusual, unique car. It'd be really fun to restore and be really fun to put a V8 in it. Take a peek underneath here. Give you an idea. Really just surface rust under there. Doesn't leak any fluids or anything like that. I'll uh, get the key and we'll open up the trunk so you can see in there. It's got the original Studebaker hubcaps. I'll rev it up a few times for you so you can hear the motor. I'll go back here and open up the trunk. And it does look like uh, the original kind of sea foam green color underneath the blue, so I do believe the trunk is the original trunk, and if that's the case, it very well could be an original V8 car. One of the Studebaker hubcaps. I think I got three of the hubcaps. Maybe I have the fourth one. I'll have to look, but look underneath here so you can see the trunk is solid underneath the trunk. There's no rust underneath the trunk or underneath this pad. I'm not hiding anything there. And then, like I said, I'll dump these out for you. These are the emblems that came with the car from the old owner. Get this one out of the bag. There's the Lark emblem, and there's some gold emblems. There's a not-so-gold emblem, and there's the V8 emblem right there. And there's the Studebaker letters. They're all there that was taken off. So, like I said, I'm not 100% sure I don't even know that much about them except for it was just a really cool car that I had to have. And Anyway, I'm sure somebody will have fun with it. Like I said, it's a great running car. It gets a lot of looks everywhere you go, people. 
they just love it. They just think it's the coolest thing around. So uh, I think someone just have a really, really fun project on their hands if they wanted to take this on. And like I said, it does run and drive and get you around good right now, but the accelerator pump is a little dried up. I don't drive it a whole lot. I think I priced the kit as $12 for an accelerator pump, uh, carburetor kit for the one barrel carburetor. Uh, other than that, it's a, it's a good running car, so maybe a quick gasket kit and would be helpful so it'd drive better. Like I said, it runs good now, but when you put it in gear, it tries to fall on its face uh, when you're taking off, so you just got to rev it up a little higher to go, but it gets up and it goes and it does. So. <laughs> Anyway, there it is, 1963 Studebaker. Uh, very cool car and, and very much rust free, as you can see by the rockers. And the, the body's real straight on it. Uh, thank you.